Hey guys, um, tonight I wanted to do a review of like my thoughts on the 2.0 firmware. Um, if you don't know, it hasn't been released yet to the public. Well, by the time you watch this, it probably has been released. I'm filming this at 2:39 a.m. In, at night, um, or actually in the morning. But um, I wanted to do my little review, like my thoughts on the uh, App Store um, and the 2.0 firmware. As you know, there's the uh, 2.0 calculator, and it looks like the standard calculator, as it did before, but when you turn it sideways, it's uh, the scientific calculator. And actually, I found this kind of, like, actually really hard to use because the buttons are so small, it's like you will press something when you don't mean to. So that's kind of a downfall to that. I didn't really like that. Um, and it turns this way. And that way. Anyways, but uh, does everything the scientific calculator do? But I actually didn't really like that that much. Um, and now I like to talk about the App Store a little bit. So far, my use with the App Store has been really good. Actually, I really like it, and um, can't wait to see more stuff on it, more free stuff. I mean. Um, a few of the apps that I, there's a few apps that I like are free. Actually, a few apps that I like that are free that are, like I really like. But um, the app store is pretty good. I'll give you a little glimpse of it here. Maybe kind of blurry, too blurry for you to see. But um, it's really nice. You got at the bottom. You got a featured uh, categories, top 25, search and upgrades. So like once you pay for an app. Um, you get the updates uh, updates automatically. You don't have to keep paying for it. Um, we got a featured on the feature page. They've got a new and then what's hot. Um, <coughs> like a what's hot tab of the featured page and then a new tab. Um, in the categories, I'll read, I'll read the categories off to you. They've got um, business, education, entertainment, finance, games. Um, healthcare and fitness, lifestyles, music, navigation, news, pho photography, productivity, reference, social networking, sports, travel, utilities, and weather. And actually, as I was just looking through this list, like you probably won't be able to see, but if you look beside the list, um, there are numbers of how many things there are. And earlier today, once I first uh, upgraded to 2.0. Um, there, there, it said there was 15 games, and now that is updated to 197. And uh, so um, I'll look through here or click. I haven't actually got to look through this and see like most of the games that the things that you actually really want, you have to pay for. I mean, they're reasonable prices though. Some of them are 4.99, um, 1.99, 7.99. That one's free. I don't know if that one is. Um, that one's free. There's a, there's some pretty cool apps and stuff that I found. Um, and I'll be doing a lot of reviews, like tons of reviews, as many as I can, um, over on my blog on tizeiphonehelp.com. Uh, there will be a link in the video description over there, or actually maybe down there, to my um, blog and tizeiphonehelp.com. So you should definitely go check that out. I'll be doing a lot of app store um, reviews and stuff like that. And um, I've actually been looking through some of the files, and I, if you don't know, Super Monkey Ball, that's one of the most pop, more popular games for iPhone. And uh, I actually downloaded it from the internet from Torrent. Uh, if you don't know what Torrent files is, that's just like really illegal ways to download stuff. Um, but uh, I downloaded some Torrent files of the uh, Super Monkey Ball. And you can actually see who I like. I actually found out who bought the application and everything when I was looking through some of the files. But um, it's not actually that different. The file system doesn't look to me very much different from the uh, uh, jailbroken apps. Like that, you get through installer. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to patch the um, not patch, but well, yeah, patch the files so you can get them free on um, your phone without having to pay for them. So uh, that would be really nice. And I was actually working on this myself, but I'm not that great at programming and stuff yet. But I um, uh, will be working in that. And hopefully somebody else can get that done. 
before I would do it. <laughs> but um, I would actually I like I really like that sort so far. And on the they have a top 25 tab, um, and you can either hit top free or top paid apps. So that's good. But the only thing I have like disliked about the app store is they don't have a section for all free apps. That's what I would really like to have. Because I'm not going to be paying for any of these apps, really. And I may pay for like Super Monkey Ball if you can't get that through Torrent and um, Enigma. That's a really cool game. You do use water droplets. You navigate like water droplets into these little places and stuff. And that's a pretty cool game. It's both of those are 9.99. So like I'm not going to pay that much for a game. And I'll probably get tired of it. But uh, some of the apps that I've downloaded so far that are free, um, AIM which is actually really really nice it's, it's it rivals agile messenger if you if you use that on jailbreak and phone a uh, remote that is to control your itunes library and playback and all that stuff and it is really really nice i'll be doing a review on this um on my blog so make sure you go check out my blog um weatherbug it was pretty nice paypal app twitterific i really love that um whirl it's a social networking uh uh, app for the iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, let's see, there is Jot. I haven't really yet used that. Uh, AOL Radio. That's actually really nice. You, when you open it up, you can. It asks you if you want to. Uh, if you want AOL Radio to pick your current location, and when you do that, it will give you radio stations if they have like internet broadcasts from around where you are. Like one, of, there's a radio station around where I live called 95.1 that like everybody likes, and uh, that I got that up on my iPhone. So that was like really cool. Um, and that's Yellow Pages. I've got that. And then Netwire RSS, like that's the RSS feeds and stuff. And actually, another thing I noticed with the 2.0 firmware is it adds the Contacts app. Um, like you, you could do that if you had a jailbroken phone. Um, and now they've added the Contact Search. I'm not going to go all, over all of the features, but just a little my thoughts and review of it. Um, they have the push email. If you don't know what that is, that's the Microsoft Exchange. That's mainly one of the things I'm not really going to get into on this. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys my little thoughts on the 2.0 firmware. And uh, I'm actually really happy with it. And I'm, now I'm going to talk about kind of jailbreaking it. Um, I've heard that the dev team has got and if you look on the dev team site I think it's uh, blog.iphone-dev.com I'll put a link in the, the video description of that also it's either down there or right there um, I'll put a link to that and it's gonna be really nice also like if they get that jailbroken and like it, they have pictures of the phone jailbroken and unlocked on their website but they haven't released any info on how to do that but so I'll just be waiting for that and as soon as they get it jailbroken I'll make a video on that uh, trust me, I'll get that out as soon as possible. But um, that is my little review on App Store. Make sure you go check out the blog, the link in the video description, and I will keep you guys updated on applications and stuff from there. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe and check out Ty's iPhoneHelp.com. Thanks.